Rudy Giuliani continues to attack Hillary Clinton for sticking by her husband Bill Clinton after he was not faithful to her. Now, during an interview with Chuck Todd, uh, he was making such statements, and Chuck Todd pushed back. And take a look at what Rudy, Rudy Giuliani had to say. What did you mean when you talked about Monica Lewinsky and Hillary Clinton that if she didn't know what Bill Clinton was stupid to be president? What I meant was after the long, long history of Bill Clinton, Jennifer Flowers, Juanita Broderick, I don't know, 27 people making claims right. against him, including a settlement with one of them where it was obviously true. When she first heard about Monica Lewinsky to pretend for five or six months that it was false. So she was wrong to stand by her husband? No, she was wrong to attack the victim. The are, woman are you who the says, right person to level this charge? Uh, yeah, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the right person to level this charge because I've never made such a charge and I prosecuted people who committed rape. But your past, you have your own infidelity, sir. Well, every, everybody does, and I, you know, I'm a Roman Catholic, and I confess those things to my priest. And I, and I think, uh, and I think you're bringing up my personal life really is kind of irrelevant to what Hillary Clinton did. She's running for president. I'm not. Okay, I want to get one thing out of the way before we comment on the rest of what Giuliani said. Um, Hillary Clinton attacking Monica Lewinsky was wrong. So that's the one thing he said there that I agree with. Uh, she did attack uh, Monica Lewinsky, but at the same time, I feel like. A lot of women that would be in a position like that would feel tempted to do so. I'm not giving her an excuse. I think it was wrong. Um, but keep in mind, you know, you're in the middle of this spectacle and you didn't want to be part of it. And it's embarrassing. And so who knows how people act out in situations like that. Again, though, it was wrong. Now, I want to get that out of the way. Go ahead. Go ahead. How, does the, how does your husband cheating... Yes become your problem. Exactly. Okay, so now let's talk about what a deplorable person Rudy Giuliani is. First of all, uh, he made the statement that everyone has a past with infidelity. Uh, we're all married here, right? I mean, I'm newly married, so I haven't had much of an opportunity it's to, been a week. to be a cheater. <laughs> um, but I don't know, Jimmy Dore, how many times were you knocking boots with other women behind your wife's back? I mean, well, everyone has a past. I don't want to put a number on it, but every time it was my wife's fault. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Same thing, you know, it, it's... it's uh, it's mind blowing that 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 this lady because what you said is right. Yeah. I think listen, if if you're you cheated with some lady who came out in public and then you, what, you, what what's what's your wife supposed to do? Be like, oh, she's such a sweetheart. She's lovely. She's a lovely girl, and yeah. you know, uh, I totally you know no. You know, the best thing what, to do is to not say anything at all. But look, I'm look, I'm going to be honest about <laughs> what I would do and who I am. Look, I I have a temper. Okay, and I'm trying to work on it in therapy. Um, but if me, I'm a public figure, right? So, and I'm not even anywhere near the kind of public figure that Hillary Clinton is and Bill Clinton was. He's freaking president of the United States. Everyone knows who you are. Everyone's in your business. But even me, as a small level public figure that doesn't have as much exposure, if some woman came forward and started talking about how she was having sex with my husband, right? Yeah, I wouldn't have nice things to say about her, and I would probably say things that I would later regret. That doesn't make me a terrible person. It makes me human. That's not an excuse for the bad behavior. It's still bad behavior. But it's a human reaction to something that's deeply embarrassing, right? And so I just want to get that out there. Yeah. Like, let's all stop pretending that if you're a public figure, you have to be perfect at all times. We're not perfect. We're all humans. So you're saying, remember that when Hillary was saying these things, she was saying these things about another woman who was having sex with her husband behind yeah. her back. Yeah. So you're saying that normally, like, I don't even like, like, Wes Clark always, when we say goodbye, he says, hey, tell you, tell Stephanie I said uh, hello. Hey, why don't you quit fucking talking to my wife? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you mean nothing to my wife, okay? She is, your hello is nothing. I'm like, we also have to say hello to each other's wives now every time we say bye to each other? Well, how about you just go home and now fucking, we'll just go home and be with our wives. That is hilarious. Yeah, it's another aspect of that, because Rudy Giuliani had this flood of stupidity. So, yes. um, yeah. Um, so another aspect of it is, oh, well, once he gets called out about his past infidelities, well, I'm a Roman Catholic. I've talked to my priest about it. So that's it. That right? makes it better. So therefore, all we, if, if how do we know what Bill and Hillary did as far as their their uh, their confessions to their priest, which I don't think they're Roman. They're Catholic. not Catholic, so oh, they're fucked. so they're they're worse people, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Roman Catholic, so stop talking to me. So okay, the next question could be if Chuck Todd wasn't run out of time because they have 35 seconds for these interviews on yeah. television. Uh, if he didn't have that short amount of time left, he could say, "Oh, so if anyone confesses to their priest, does that mean you're not going to talk about this anymore?" No, that's not the actual <laughs> reason we're talking about this. So just if, as long as you pin people in the corner and finally. 
whittle down their stupid argument. They have nowhere else to go, but there's no yeah. time to yeah. do and that. But, also, go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to make one other point about that. So, look, Republicans run around protecting Donald Trump and, and talking about how Bill Clinton is a so-called rapist, right? Because there were some sexual assault allegations against him. Um, you know who else had rape allegations against them? Donald Trump, okay? His ex-wife accused him oh, of raping God. her, and no one ever talks about that. Oh my God. No one ever talks about that, right? You want to talk about rape? Did you want to talk about rape? His own wife said that he had raped her. I didn't so, see, did, you, did Chuck Todd not bring that stuff up? I don't think he brought it up. Oh. He, brought up he brought up Giuliani's, because it's like, it's not just, it's Giuliani's had problems, yeah. Trump's had problems, yeah. these guys have all had problems. And then the other thing, or along the lines of what you're just saying, so Giuliani's saying, the, uh, the, the, the one time that Hillary spoke badly about this woman, I'm sure Hillary's spoken badly about other women a few other times throughout her All life. All women have spoken badly about other women. Yeah. It's part of being a woman, but, okay? but, but <laughs> Trump But Trump continuously speaks badly about women. It's like, it's a proven thing. He does it every day and he gets applauded for it. I, I mean, he, he tells it like it is. I it's just, it's amazing. <laughs> like their inability to see the irony in, in, in some of the shit that they say in, in the news amazes me. Like, you have cheated on your wife. You have been divorced a few times. Um, you are supporting a candidate who's been accused of raping his wife by his wife, by the way. Okay? <laughs> how, are you, how are you now on national television <laughs> criticizing Hillary Clinton for supporting her husband? Um, why are you punishing her for the bad behavior of her husband? Okay? You want to talk crap about what Bill Clinton did? Fine, okay, I understand that. But it has nothing to do with Hillary Clinton. She's not the one who, you know, Let's, did that thing with the cigar. Bill Clinton's the one who did that, yeah. right? And so get Let's, off her ass about that. Criticize her for actual things she's doing wrong. Well, I think we should all spend some time now criticizing Rudy Giuliani's wife, <laughs> right? Because she was definitely married to him when he was cheating. And what the hell is wrong with her? What's wrong with yeah. her? God, yeah. and where does she come off? Terrible I mean, that's, right? That's crazy. Huh? That sounds crazy that we would yeah. do this. Let's go after Rudy Giuliani's wife for being married to a guy who cheated on her. That's, that's crazy, right? Does he go home at night and go, I said something I believed? Or does he go home and go, oh, wow, I, I really did a good job of spinning that to, the, to, to get Hillary? I mean, do these people sleep well at night? Like, how do they? Because I watch sometimes these guys that are the, the, the surrogates for Trump, especially the Trump surrogates, are so... In denial, yeah. I mean, all you have to do, like, there was a lot of coverage of that whole thing when for two days he was saying that Obama was the founder of ISIS. And they're in such denial that they were defending that statement, including Rudy Giuliani, mm -hmm. was trying to find a way to defend that statement. So now they've convinced themselves that they should attack Hillary for Bill having an affair. Yep. Or several. Or several. So this, this is Rudy Giuliani wanting a job. That's what this is. That's all of Chris Christie, right. Rudy Giuliani, these guys. Re and you know what I love about the Chris Christie thing is that they sucked up so hard to him on MSNBC. They yes. love, oh, Chris Christie was the second coming. He was Santa Claus and John Wayne and Teddy Roosevelt all rolled up into one, except he wasn't any of those things. He was just a fat piece of shit who worked <laughs> against his own fucking constituency and then sold out to corporations and now is working for a xenophobic, racist, misogynist clown because he thinks he might benefit from it personally. Personally. And everybody on the left saw through Chris Christie. Teachers knew Chris Christie was a piece of shit. You know who didn't? All the journalists at MSNBC. That's, I mean, that's honestly, we talk about how we got to the point that we're in, you know, in the country, like with, with the candidates that we have, with the situation we're dealing with. And the media does have a lot to do with it as well. Like, you you got to ask follow-ups. You're a debate moderator, then do your job and moderate the debate, right? Like. I, I just blanked. The last it, moderator was... Uh, was Lester Holt. Okay, okay. so he, he asked a few follow-up questions, and people were outraged about it. <laughs> I know. He, you he know, did a you good are, job, I thought. I, actually, I felt, felt like he was asleep most of the debate. Like, I was like, did he fall asleep? Like, where is he? Why isn't he responding to anything? He did an okay job. But the only reason why it seemed like he did an okay job was because he asked, like, a few follow-ups. Yes, it's the few. Right? So like, we're so, like... Like, with Trump, he challenged him on an obvious lie about he was for the Iraq war he was. Yeah, and he yes, he, yes. He wouldn't let that get by. Although, you got... The, the debate chairperson said that they're not going to do that, and Lester was going rogue. He did it anyway, yeah, right? Yeah. So, well, they should do that. And, of course, and why not just get Ryan Seacrest if you're not going to do that? Yeah. Exactly. Why not just get a chimp to do it? Yeah. Right? I mean, who cares?